All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, been quite some time since we uh, recorded last. Uh, I want to say it's been about two, three weeks, if not a little bit longer. I've uh, just been a little busy with work and, and uh, a couple other things that, that have been going on uh, with me, basically. So I uh, want to try to get back into everything, uh, get back into uploading consistently, try to get um, try to get everything rocking and rolling here. What in the world was I doing here? I have no idea what I was doing. I'm going to have to go back into the videos and watch what in God's name that is. Because this just. What is the point? Is that just mining? Mining at 67? There's no point. I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and try to figure out what in the world I was doing there. Um, Just a. I think we just did this because I, I took like a two week break. Um, Nothing has changed. Um, So if you want to basically watch the last couple videos you'll get a uh, summary of basically what we're doing i actually uploaded I, I believe i uploaded a summary video of everything that's going on uh in between episodes the only thing i can think that i actually did because like i said i i, I should have caught up on what i did but previously so i could cover what i did what i've done instead of coming in and, and thinking about what i've done I, I don't know it's probably the wrong way to go in about it but i made 256k storage discs so if you look at the blue where it says the mod, this is from reborn storage and the refined storage is what the mod is. So I found these accidentally actually, because if you, I believe I was making a 64 K and when I was making a 64 K, I saw, okay. It wasn't the 64 K. Maybe it was just storage disc. Yeah. Just storage disc. So when I typed in storage disc, I saw these. I'm like, Whoa, those are, like they're they're black and these ones are like gray so i was like oh, they have to be something a little different so i was looking at what the highest tier was and it looks like it was just 64k and i was like okay that's cool but i know uh applied energistics they used to have a mod in with it sort of like how this is how it's a separate mod for different storage containers and they used to have ones that were larger than this the max on applied energistics so i i was like oh that has to be it so it actually is. So you can make a 256K storage disk. You can make a 1024, a 4096, and a 16384. And that's the largest. It's 16,384. Um, obviously, we're going to have to set up some type of auto crafting to actually craft this. Because I'm not sitting here for, I would say, probably 3-4 hours doing this by hand. Uh, that would probably be a lot. Because, I mean, it's the same recipes. It's just a lot more. So you need the, obviously to get one, you would need three, you would need nine, 27, uh, what's 27 times three, that's uh, 81, times three is two, 243, times three is like 724, something like that. So about 700, okay, now another three, you need 2,100 of these. So times that by four times that by three you're looking at four thousand three thousand you're looking at a lot to get to that point obviously that's late late game and we're nowhere near that so i made the 256 i made five of them i shouldn't really fill up obviously that's filling up quickly and the reason that's filling up quickly is if we take a look at our system uh there's a lot of redstone a lot of quartz coal I think I'm, I think most of the stuff coming in is the mob drops and our ores. As you can see, we have a lot of ores that we're probably never going to use, to be honest. Um, I mean, if I go into a bunch of different mods, uh, most likely we could use it. But currently, we're not going to use really any of this. So I don't really, ne I don't really necessarily need all of the. Uh, it's this one. I don't really necessarily need all the ore miners. I could probably just stick with just the last, like the, the, the highest tier that I have, which is the tier five right here. I could probably get rid of all of the other ones because I don't really need the, the only reason that you use the, like uh, the only reason you get a tier one is so you can get the tier two ore. Um, and then you use the tier two to get the tier three, you use the tier three to get the tier four, you use the four to get to the five. Now that I have the tier five, I don't really need the previous ones because I already have our solar panels already done. The solar arrays done. I already have the ore miners done. And there's not really... A, I mean, 
to be honest, am I going to need more than 50,000, 35,000, 41,000, 20,000? I don't think I'm really going to need that many for anything that we're going to make within environmental crafts. So I could probably get rid of those and just keep one. And then I can also probably start sorting out the mob drops that I'm not going to need either. So the rotten flesh, I'm probably not going to need 63,000. So I'm, I might have to figure out a way to get rid of it, except for a certain amount in here. Like, say it's over a thousand, get rid of it. If it's over a thousand bones, get rid of it. Over 500 arrows, get rid of it. Because all I have to do is just add an, an uh, affinity or infinity. It's not really that difficult to do in a mod pack. Uh, string, over a thousand, get rid of it. So I could probably eliminate a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff by doing that. Because, um, I mean, 109,000 iron. I, I mean, I guess technically I could use it if I really, really wanted to. I could just make 6,000 big reactors. But I, I really don't need all that. The uranium, the refined uranium, we could, we're going to be using that for some uh, big reactors. But, I mean, it's not going to be used right now. at any t like, like, now, basically. So, uh, before I ramble too much in this episode, uh, where we left off, we did the tools and we did some upgrades to them. So if you look, I have sharpness 5 and looting on my sword. Uh, the shovel just has efficiency 5. And then pickaxe also has efficiency 5 and fortune 3. Now, does this work? No, it's not working. Let me go into my options, controls, and draconic. Psycho dig AOE. Okay, it is. Oh, the sword doesn't have it, you idiot. So, as you can see, the shovel can do a 1x1 one one or a 3x3 three three in the bottom right. You can see it changing. I'm sure if, you, if you're looking at the screen, you can see it catch your eye. Also, the pickaxe, 1x1, one 3x3. One, three three. So, everything's fine with the tools for right now for what we need. Um, obviously, we're going to upgrade to the draconic armor and not the or the draconic tools not the wyvern eventually we'll get into that because we have to do we actually have to go to the end uh respawn in the dragon and kill it to be able to get the awakened draconian blocks so in the meantime uh iron armor it, it's gotta go it, it's gotta go so as this sign says right here that i made in between episodes or actually at the end of last episode i want to make some armor using draconic evolution so I want to go ahead and make the wyvern helm, the wyvern chest plate, the leggings, and the wyvern boots. So each one takes uh, just the armor that it's the diamond armor that it's taking. So you need boots, chest, and then you also need the wyvern helm. So for the chest plate, you can make one with a jetpack, but we have the ability of creative flight using the angel ring. We don't really need it. So. Let's go ahead and just start making this stuff here. So I can go into our wireless crafter or whichever one. It doesn't really matter which one we go into. Do I have anything? Oh, is that going to... Oh, actually, I can use this. Cool. I like it. All right, so all the recipes are the exact same, I believe, except for just the armor in the middle. Yeah. Okay, so I need four of those, which means I need 16 of these. I thought I had some of those, though. Let's try this. Yeah, four. Put those up there. And now I need four of these. Right? So is that all? I, that should be everything. That was quick. Alright, so as you can see... If you look in the bottom left, I'm going to move that because that's kind of a, annoying where that's at. I need to move that over a little bit. There we go. Okay, so as you can see down there, it's 256 to 256. I believe that is the... If you... I think that's your health? Or like the shield. I believe that's shield. And then the RF at the bottom, 16 million. And then the EN... I'm not 100% on what those all mean here. Maybe I could try to figure that out while we're here. Now let's take that down a little bit there. Do I have my Draconic book on me? In my backpack? Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot about Woot. I want to get into that too. 
don't know why I have the rest of that. Flux infused bow. Power five, I'm breaking three. And infinity. Probably gonna make a uh, bow of wyvern so then I can make the draconic bow. It's probably a lot better, actually. Okay, so let me see if I can figure out what these actually mean here. For the armor. Um, Go back. Wyvern armor. Okay, so it actually doesn't say... But the actual armor effect of this armor is not its primary line of defense. All armor armor in Draconic Evolution comes with a powerful shield that is capable of absorbing massive amounts of damage. You can read about the page link below. Uh, some pieces of the armor also provide some buffs, which can, of course, be configured via uh, Draconic Evolution config GUI. Wearing full wyvern armor gives you 100% fire resistance. So now I can just hop in whatever I want. Nice. Holy large font. You want to show some more? Okay, so if you guys want to read along, I'm not going to read it out word for word here. I'm just going to try going through it. So the EN is the entropy ent entropy ent entropy ranges from 0 to 100. It will increase each time you receive damage and will slowly decrease when you are not taking damage. It reduces the rate at which your shield points regenerate. If your entropy reaches 100%, your shield will now oh, will not regenerate at all. So as we're taking damage, if the entropy which is this blue line or the green line i believe it's the blue line if that starts filling up red if it goes all the way to the top our shield doesn't regenerate and our shield is the 512 so if we get hit the the shield which is the 256 on our screen in the bottom left uh once we take some damage it will go down and it will start to regenerate depending on our en which is the entropy so do i have anything that i can take damage with? daytime so there's no monsters out here i don't want to open that because if there's a creeper it could explode everything um oh bees bees crush you so let's try it as you can see see the entropy going up the red bar once that's all the way up our shield won't regenerate and when it doesn't regenerate the 256 is our actual shield I don't think they were doing enough damage to actually do anything to us because of the armor, but uh, yeah. So that's the, I mean, the armor is pretty, pretty straightforward. It's pretty basic, you know? Um, so yeah, that's, that's the armor. And again, we can throw it into the fusion crafting core with the exact same things that we did before with the upgrades, which is our keys. So let me type in key. I don't think we're actually going to be able to use anything from here. Dig AOE, dig speed, attack speed. No. So if we wanted to, we can increase the shield capacity, the shield recovery, uh, movement speed for the boots, jump boost. So, I mean, we could go ahead and throw on some movement speed and things like that, but I believe there's already some type of speed boost. Yeah. So... So there's already some type of speed boost. You don't even have to add it on. I think it just gets faster and if i'm not mistaken when you're when you're flying i think it actually makes it faster too but i th think i think that's whenever you upgrade yeah i think that's when you upgrade to the draconic that you can actually increase your yeah yeah you can increase your flight speed so then instead of flying at this speed you can fly way 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 quicker I mean, as you can see, I mean, we're, we're running a lot faster, but I am going to turn it down just a little bit because when it's up that high, I get a little, that's perfect. I want to run a little bit faster than normal Minecraft, but I don't want to be blazing around like crazy. And like I said, we can upgrade it, but I don't really do too many upgrades because I want to upgrade to the Draconic, and to do the Draconic, um, you basically need them. And I don't know if the enchantments go over. We'll find out when we go to the to the Draconic uh, bows and things like that. So, uh, so let's go ahead. The next step in Draconic for me personally, uh, we we could go ahead and do like a, a reactor or the the fusion core energy storage. The energy storage. I'm gonna just say that. We could go ahead and get into that, but we're not generating enough energy, actually, to actually... I mean, I, I mean, I guess technically we are, because... Doesn't this thing generate a whole bunch? It's not going to because it's raining, but... 
Yeah, I don't have to sleep. I forgot I put it all the way over there, 175 meters away, so it doesn't activate. Oh no, I have it where it rained. It's gonna be double this though. So instead of 16, this ain't even the highest one. Over here, David. 74,000. So that's generating, I think, 148 because I think when it rains, it cuts it in half. So if I'm not mistaken, that does 174, and currently we are only using 94. That's 50,000 uh, RF a tick that we're not using that we could be storing. And the Draconic Evolution storing uh, of energy is probably the best, I think, but it's sort of expensive. So, I mean, you're going to need one of these reactor stabilizers. You're going to need uh, Awakened Draconium, uh, Chaotic Core, which is a Chaos Shard with a whole bunch more of Awakened. And a Chaos Shard's large, small, tiny. Um, I don't even know where you get this stuff, to be quite honest. So, that's something that I'm going to have to look into to find out exactly how to get. I'm not 100%. I didn't think that it was part of anything yet. Oh, wait. Did I click on something wrong? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, I didn't. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that that's pretty late game. So, I think the next step that we can do is actually go to the end, respawn the dragon, kill the dragon, and then... And then try to get some awakened draconium blocks. So if we go back into our manual, which let me pull back out of my bag. Let me leave it out of the bag now. Um, so the awakened draconium. Uh, so when the when you kill the dragon, it drops its heart and it spins and it does like a little effect. And it, that's how you craft the awakened draconium. Um, let me see if I can actually find it here. Awakened Draconium is what comes next after regular Draconium. It is a base crafting ingredient for all Draconium tours. Yeah, we know that. But I need to find out exactly how to... Whoa, what was that? It's really not going to tell me? Really? It really doesn't tell you. Oh, what's this? Energy IO crystals? Capacity of 4 million? Relays? Crystal wireless. Oh my, I don't know anything about that. Let's not get into that yet. Okay, so this isn't going to tell us how to actually get the draconium. Oh, you don't have to do that in the nether anymore? Oh, okay. That's why it doesn't say anything about it. So, previous versions, you actually had to go to the end and when you kill the dragon it dropped the heart and there's like a effect with a white circle around it and it used to spin like crazy so what you had to do is you had to throw in so many of the i believe it was the draconic cores and then you would have to throw and then you'd have to set down charged draconian blocks and when you set down the charged draconian blocks it would it would take in what you give it for the Dracon draconic cores and if you gave it i think it was 16 or so um, that was like max capacity, and that's how you could set down a couple blocks and get the blocks charged, and, and they would, it would do a whole animation to make awakened cores. But it looks like you just take a draconium block, six of the draconic cores, and a dragon heart. And we have a dragon heart? Yeah. Okay, so we don't need a book, and how many does that make at a time? Four. So we need four draconium blocks. Which is absolutely no problem. Gonna have to get some of that smelted. I'm gonna have to set up a, a furnace for that. Um, so now that we have that, we need six draconic cores. And that's it, right? 350 million RF? Holy, uh. And it has to be a wyvern level. So I can't use what I'm using because I'm using basic fusion crafting injectors. So I do have to make the wyvern. 
which means I have to make two sets. So how many do I have over here? I have eight. Do I have any more of the crafting injectors? I do not. So I need to make, I believe it. I believe you need eight, right? Four. Yeah. So you need eight. So I need to make another eight of the basic. Do this real quick. All right. I got the eight. Okay. So I have the eight to upgrade. Now I need a, dracon a draconium block for each one. So I need eight more. I need four more blocks. I'm just going to do one thing at a time here. Um, there it is here. Let me type. What is this? Wither infusion crafting injector. Now I don't have to keep clicking. So we're doing eight of those. So I need 16 draconic cores. I have to craft those. Oh, I'm out of draconium. Oop. 16 of those. I need eight of those, which means I need eight nether stars and another 32. Okay, I need to smelt some of this. Um, yeah. You go there. Go there. I think this is literally just a, a furnace, right? Oh, yeah. Get cooking. I keep I keep wanting to run back to that. I don't. Oh, I don't need to run back to that. This way, it's just cooking up a whole bunch. Look at me trying to throw in four stacks into the furnace. Yeah, that's gonna work. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay, so I got those the sixteen there. Now I need another, I need eight of those, which means I need 32 more. So let's just do a good old, how do you do? Go. Go ahead and make uh, eight of those. I don't have any more draconium. Wait, why is that one cooking so much faster? Oh, that one's done. Hey, hey, hey. Don't want to run back. Did I make any of those yet? No, I need eight. It's 16, so I need five more of those. Okay. Now I need four, eight, 32 diamonds. I don't think I have enough. Okay. Now. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Oh, I went silent there for a second. Just trying to get that set up 100%. That's probably going to drain that power. It's the only thing that's bad about Draconic Evolution is it takes a lot of power. I also want to set up some farms for some food. I mean, I know, I know I really don't use food, but I can use it for some power. I can use it for the... Um, there's some generators that you can use with uh, like bread and, and toast and, and stuff like that. Probably never going to use it, but I just want to set up some type of farm for some, uh, for, for some farming, some automation, basically. Wow, that's slow. Probably getting held back by these. Only being able to put in 400,000. Yeah, look. Yep, exactly what it is. 
being limited by the input that it's allowing. Uh, maybe not. So that's a 400 and that's only a 32. I don't know how, I wonder if this is like a, the higher tiers can output, uh, use more energy at one time. This is gonna get back up and running too. I don't have the skeleton farm, I think running. Yeah, cause it's right here. Because I ran out of the essence. Yeah, I ran out of the solidified experience. I mean, we have some now, but. But there has to be a better way to do that other than doing it the way that we're doing it. If that makes sense. Oh yeah, there is. What am I talking about? Now that we're using Draconic Evolution, let me... If I'm not mistaken, you can use a... Um, a stabilized mob spawner. And you can specify exactly what mob it is. So if we take one with the... With a Wyvern Corp, a broken spawner... And we place it in here. I believe the only thing you have to do is go get a mob soul, which you get when you have Reaper on your sword. And when you get Reaper on your sword and you get the soul, um, you can just place that into the stabilized mob spawner and that'll automatically spawn it like a normal mob spawner. So then we don't need that anymore. We could just put a mob spawner in there, kill the lights, and it starts spawning them. So I'm going to have to adventure into that a little bit in between episodes just to make sure that I am correct. Almost 98% sure I'm right, but I'm going to go into like a creative world just to make sure. But I believe you get the mob soul using Reaper. Let me see if it says anything in here about it. Doesn't seem like it says too much about it. anything in here. Mob soul. Mob souls are occasionally drop when ma drop the that's supposed to be by mobs. When killed by a player using a weapon with a Reaper modifier, the drop chance is extremely low. 1 in 1,000 for hostile mobs and 1 in 800 for passive mobs. For unenchanted Wyvern weapons. But the chances of getting a sword can be improved using a Reaper ench enchantment. Draconic Evolution tools essentially have a built-in Reaper modifier equivalent to Reaper level 1 for Wyvern, level 2 for Draconic, and level 3 for the Staff of Power. The calculation to figure out your drop chances is the base drop chance divided by the weapon's built-in Reaper modifier plus the Reaper enchantment level. So, the calculation for, say, a Draconic Sword with Reaper 5 would be as follows. Build-in modifier is 2, and the Reaper level is 5, so that'd be 7. So, it's 1,000 divided by 7, which is 1 in 142. If the Reaper modifier is 0, so a non-weapon with Reaper, then there is a 0 chance of getting a soul. So, basically, you have to have a Draconic Evolution Sword, and then you either have to have it without the modifier, with the enchantment, or with it. And here it is right here. The main use for a mob soul is setting the spawn type for a stabilized spawner, but they can also be used to spawn their respective entity by shift right clicking on a block with a soul. So yeah, basically that's, uh, wait. Yeah. So we just have to get Reaper. So let me take this out so we can start that again. Can we get Reaper using this? Ah, we can. What do I need? Going, keep going. Oh. Keep going. Keep going. So I need 60. 60 draconium blocks. Holy lordy. And then 15 lapis. I mean, that's not too bad, actually. I mean. It's not bad at all. I mean, 60 blocks times nine, that's 540, so we already have enough right here. And then if I wanted to, I could set this spawner up, shut this um, mob crusher off, and I could set up a way to actually kill them myself with the Reaper enchantment, and with the Reaper enchantment, I should have a good chance of actually getting it. I mean, it, I mean, I only have a uh, built in of one, and then if I have a Reaper five, that's five, so that's six. So what was the calculation on that? 1,000. So 1,000 divided by 6 is what? 1,000 divided by 6 is uh, 1 in 166. So if I have the worst luck possible, which I would say I do, I'm going to have to kill 166 of those things. But let's hope that I only have to kill... I don't know why 2, but let's hope. Also... Since I 
So in between, like the the little bit of a, a week gap that I took, you know, like the, the not week, but the three week break that I took, not break, but you know what I'm talking about. The three weeks I didn't upload. Let's just put it that way. It's not a break. It's not anything. It's just I didn't upload. Um, I went on to Minecraft Bedrock, and I was working for achievements for my Xbox account, and I was able to get a lot of them, and. I came to the conclusion that Bedrock does run better than Java, 100%. But there is something about the Bedrock that I just, I can't, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it feels way different than Java. I don't know if maybe it's because the Bedrock was made for like the mobile devices, like the phones and tablets and this and that. And then they sort of made it for the computer as well. I, I just feel like it's a little weird. I don't know. It might be just me, but... I just wanted to bring that up since we're playing Minecraft, but uh, it got me thinking, though. I might eventually, and I'm not saying it's going to be anytime soon. It might, depending on if I get bored or not at night. Like, it's currently uh, 3 a.m. But if I get bored one night, I might move the house and... My idea is, I didn't really want to say it and spoil it, I just wanted it to be a surprise for an uh, episode, but I want to give out ideas. So, my idea is, take an elevator like this, make it all glass, so where the black uh, blocks are, glass, those are glass, those are glass, these, glass, and I want to go in through the top, into like this sealed container. And then I want to hit the button, and I want to go down through the ocean. I'll find an ocean. I'll, I mean, it's not going to be hard to find an ocean when you can fly. You know what I mean? And I want to go down through the ocean, and I want to build a giant glass dome at the bottom of the ocean. And I want my house to be in that. That's my idea. I like the idea. I just don't know if the... I don't remember what the block is called, but there is a block in this mod pack well it was it was it was let me correct myself it was there was a block in here that would automatically not automatically but it would give out the template for the block uh for the for the root how do i only get seven there's another one server server Not that one. Um, so there was a block in this previously. What it would do is it would outline. I don't have enough. So what it would do is it would outline. Um, it would outline where it's going to place the blocks, and then once it would um once it would place the blocks. Or once it had the outline, you can go up with the material that you wanted to place and just hold right mouse button on it, and it would automatically start placing it. So you can have a dome. You can adjust the size, the height, the the I guess that's it, the size and height, and then you just go up with whatever you want to place, and you just hold right click, and it automatically places it. It's amazing. So if that's in here, I'm gonna make the walls about five or six high. And then I'm going to make the, I'm going to make everything out of glass since I have, op, not Optifine, but we had the smooth glass. So I figured with the smooth glass and a, and a dome under the, under the water, I think that would look amazing. I mean, if, if my PC was able to run shaders, that would be way, way better, but I can't. So yeah, so that's my idea while I was waiting for those to finish there. But that's my idea, so we're going to have to try to mess with that in between episodes and a, and, a, and a decent matter, basically. So I need 24 of the Draconic Core. I don't have any made. Yeah. 24, right? Wrong thing. Oh, I only need six. I'm crazy, man. I'm crazy. And a, and a dragon heart. Okay. 
goes in there. Single mode, single mode, single mode. Single, go. That's gonna take forever to charge because it takes how much? 350 million RF. That's gonna drain this. It's actually using everything we have. 190,000 RF a tick. I thought this generated more. That's generating 475,000 RF a tick, huh? Are we limited by this system? No, I don't have a transfer limit. Oh, we're limited by this. So that's inputting millions of RF, and this is only providing thousands. Because it's a signalium. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. Signalium? Sig signalum? Sig signalum? If somebody can put in the comments how to pronounce this, like a pronunciation thing, please, please do. Because... Um, signalum, sig sig signal signalium. It's definitely not signalium. Signalum, signalum. I don't know, but regardless, what we're actually here for. Um, uh, not flux duck, redstone. No, no, no. Item duck. No, no, no. Nope. Where is it? Oh, flux stuff. Oh, first one. Imagine that. Yeah, it only transfers 16,000 RF a tick. So this is only using 16,000 RF a tick. And we have to get to 350 million with 16,000. ain't working. What I need to do is I need to make four points for this flux controller. If I'm able to make four points, um... eight points we'd be able to put one on the back of each one of these and that should have a unlimited transfer limit and i should be able to transfer as much power as i'm producing into that at once we have to try that but the problem with that is um like we were saying before i can't get flux unless i mine redstone like if we even if we look in here it doesn't even generate flux i have 106 that's it and if I need a, a point, if I need eight, I need 32 flux cores. How many do I have? 23, so that means I have to make nine of those. And to make those, I need, I only have to make nine, so I need three, So which means I would need 12 flux, which I'm running low on. I don't know, I mean, I might have to just to try for this, but. But there is other flux duct that I can make. There is, um, it's expensive. I, uh, the cryo stabilized that has an infinite but you have to make the empty which you have to get resonant which is the higher one of what we're using that can tra transfer 25,000 so we would need one of those per thing or electro not expensive hardened glass not expensive here's the issue you have to fill it with uh cryothium cryothium is a Cryothium dust in a magma crucible, and you get the dust using the blizz powder, snowball, and redstone. You get the blizz powder from the experience over snowballs. We've done it before. We've done it multiple times, actually. Aw, uh, yeah, now we're kicking. Alright, we got 36. What do we make? Nothing? Alright. So if we go back, I know I'm all over the place this episode. Uh, but I mean, my only plan was to do the armor, but then I looked over and realized it was only 12 minutes into the episode and I cannot make a 12 minute episode because me personally, it's pointless. Now that I know that I can render like hour videos, um, I'm not saying every episode is going to be an hour long, but I'm going to try going in between 20, like 25 to an hour. So if I feel comfortable with what we have accomplished in 25 minutes, which me personally never is enough because when you're playing feed the beast. 25 minutes is like nothing. Now when you're playing vanilla, you can do a lot in 25 minutes in vanilla if you cut because a lot of the time you're mining or you're XP grinding or you're you're doing something with farming and this and that and this and that. 
So, I mean, there's a lot more going on with this. So, I, I feel like 25 minutes isn't really doing justice. So, I'm going to probably try going, like I said, not 25, but like a half hour to an hour. Somewhere around there. Just to feel like we actually accomplished something in each episode. Not just, hey, we made armor. All right, 25 minutes is up. Bye. You know, I, I want to I wanna actually get somewhere. Uh, you know, at our current state, I would say we're... So uh, the only reason I would say we're middle game is because we we're generating enough power to basically do what we want, but we can't transfer the power that we're making. Um, we don't have a farm for our wither skeletons. We don't have a good spawner system yet. There's a lot of stuff that we're in the beginning game, but except for power. So that's what I want to change. Our, our armors middle game because we got the wyvern. We're working towards a draconium, but. I want to I want to get boosted here and, and, and keep pushing forward and, and try to get as much done and, and accomplished so we can continue to move along and not stick with six episodes just doing this draconic evolution armor. So back to what we were doing. Now that we have the 36 uh, Draconium ingots, now we're sort of limited to what we can actually do. Now, if we were really, really worried about the mob souls, technically the first thing I should do is the Staff of Power. But I believe the Staff of Power, you need Shovel, Sword, Pick. Now, the what's that? Is that a hoe? You really want me to make a Draconic hoe? That thing better be loyal put it that way so the pick uses one two three four five six seven stop going to that seven eight nine ten eleven okay so the pick uses eleven now shovel eleven that's the same recipe and the sword 11 so that's 33 that leaves us three not enough so we would have to do another one not an issue not an issue i mean it, it's literally just a wait time because we can't oh i need more stuff than that i need a draconic thing i need what six of those i believe it was and then I also needed a dragon heart. Oh, I don't have a dragon heart. How do you respawn the dragon? Um, I know there's vanilla ways to do it, isn't there? Using the um, oh, definitely not that way. Definitely this way. What is those? Cobblestone monster egg. I mess with that. I mess with that. Ah, here it is. The end crystal. Recipe tweaked by Draconic Evolution. Wait, excuse me? I need another star and a gas tier? I need four of those. Do I even have gas tiers? No. So, I have to go get gas tiers, first off. Let me make sure this is the only way to do it. And crystal. What is that? I don't know what that is. Okay, yeah, so that's the only thing. So, I need a gas tier and another star. I, I believe we have enough nether stars, right? I only need four. So if we get four nether stars, we have that. The gas tiers is what we don't have. There has to be another way to get gas tiers and, and modded mine. Yeah, there we go. There we go. 6,000 of those. Look at this. We didn't have three, but now we got 64. Bada bing, bada boom. One, two, three, four. Okay. Do I have the end portal? Hey, I do. I don't have a bow. Go back. Ah! I didn't do it. You did. Boom. Boom, James. I need a bow. Okay. Do I use the bow that we used last time? Just this? Might as well, right? I, mean, I guess it can't hurt anything. Eh, let's do it. Let me grab some more food. Do I even have more food? Not a lot. That's why I want to get the thing going. Um, so let's go back to the end portal. Whee! 
Really? I don't think I have to do anything crazy to respawn it. I think it's just a normal... What is that? Main island? This ain't the main island. This is. <laughs> Holy Enderman. First off. I love how it automatically goes into your inventory so you don't have to pick it up. Oh, it's amazing. This has efficiency? I ain't having it. Dig speed. That's 100%, huh? I guess that ain't too bad. Wish it was faster, though. I'll tell you that. I wish that was a lot faster. Guys. Really? The only reason I'm doing that is for the... Oh, I do got looting. Come here. <laughs> Ender pearls. Alright, let's see if this works. Hey, it's working. At least something from vanilla works. That's what I like to see. Oh look, you can go get the elytra. There's a little portal thing there. I just did that for the first time in Minecraft. Not in Minecraft. Any Minecraft, basically. I've never in my life got the elytra. Bedrock uh, Dragon, I died from it multiple times. Uh, the Wither, died from it multiple times. I didn't, I don't really kill the dragon and stuff too often in Villain Minecraft, and let me tell you, it's uh, not the easiest thing. For me, anyway. I'm used to mods and stuff, you know? I don't, I don't really have to do anything. I should hit it. No? That's okay. Yeah, see, I didn't even take damage from that. Oh, my EN went up to 6%. That's it. I didn't even take damage when the dragon flew into me. The only thing nice about Draconic Evolution, man. Is... I'll give Bedrock that. The Bedrock, um... You don't have to uh, worry about the swing fatigue. So you could just spam the mouse whenever you're trying to kill something. It's amazing. Can't kill it. Yeah, see how this gathers stuff in? This is how it used to be. You used to have to throw out draconic cores and then place down your uh, draconic blocks. And it would suck in all the draconic cores and then it would um, it would make like a whole little sequence and it would throw out and it would start charging up your draconic blocks. I wonder if you could still do that. It means you can get double the, the usage out of the parts. What's hitting me? This. Get out of here. Thank you. Hey, I got an Enderman head. I'm one of them. This is one of the infinite cars? Yep. That's so nice that they have that in... Wait, there's only 25 levels for killing the dra- Uh, it's probably because it's the second time killing it. I was gonna say. 23 levels, huh? Alright, so now we can go do that so we can make the Staff of Power. Oh, there was that XP there. wonder if it collected it when I hopped in. It did not. Should I go back through? 
Well, now I just asked a question and did it anyway. Like, it didn't matter if you answered. I can't really understand. I can't hear you guys until after this is uploaded anyway, right? Probably not there because I left a... Yeah, it's not going to be there. It's not going to stay there whenever you leave the dimension. That stuff goes away. All right, so I don't need that, 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 that. Actually, give me that. Give me yeah. Put that in there. Take this out. Take that out. Take that back out. Just in case. And just in case. Hey, there we go. All right, so this should still be on the singularity mode. So, ding, 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 and start up. Okay, so while that charges, let me see if I can find that uh, builder. Not usable in survival. I can tell you I used it before. Maybe it's not a builder. I swear it was a builder though. Maybe not. I don't remember exactly what the block is called. That's going to be my problem. Um, you know who does know? Good old thing called Google. Need to be dome builder. Part of RF tools. And it is. By the looks of things, I know I just upgraded my texture pack, but by the looks of things, I don't see it. Been in this chair too long, man. Um, yeah, I ain't seen it. Let me see here. Building guy will project a hologram of configurable size and shape, so you don't have to need to measure. You can have the building gate actually create the structure for you in creative mode. So building. Aha! Here it is. This is it. Yeah. This isn't anywhere near right now. Okay, so just a quick example here. I'm gonna. I don't think it messes up anything, but I'm going to fly over here. Get out of here. I hear barley. Place it down. Now watch. I don't remember exactly how this works, but. Oh, here it is. Planes mode, axis mode, octagon mode, hexagon, pentagon, triangle, dome. Hey, what's that do? Whoa. How can I see it though? I don't know what this is doing. I'm all the way up at 77. So is it this one that I have to change? Because maybe it starts at zeros. 
Maybe I have to take it up. I don't see it Let's try with the basic one, not the advanced. Maybe that's where my issue is at. I'm not going to mess with those in between episodes because obviously I can't get it to work. Oh, there's RF tools. There's a book for it. Wait, why is it nighttime? Aha, it's working. Grab these. Let's do one thing at a time here. Um, do I have an RF tools book though? I thought I did. Aha. Okay, so what was that called? Building. Elevator. Including the player up and down. The setup, you set up an elevator and you place an elevator blocks at every level. And one level make a platform in front of the elevator using solid blocks. Use the bottom elevator block needs power. If one of the elevator blocks gets a rent signal from the platform, it will move there. That's nice to know. Um, Logic gates. Nope, 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 nope. No. Second page? Nope. Modular. Part of power relay, block protector, automatic crafter, item filter. None of that stuff. RF controls. Graphics. Oh, none of that. So let's two. What what is this mod part of? Open blocks. Not even part of RF. They're an open blocks man. I figured it would have to be, right? Almost every single thing has. Oh, unstable. Last stand. Are we playing Call of Duty? What is that? Cartographer. Okay, so it does. What is that? Luggage. It follows you around. Crane magnet? I got a crane on. Bean. Okay, so so it doesn't look like there is a. Oh wow, they do have the sprinklers back. Wow, I didn't think they did. Um, so it doesn't look like they have the open blocks book. Open blocks building guy. Can't see. That's me. Oh, has to get redstone. So all that needs is a lever, and that's done. So let's start with the Draconic Evolution again. Now that we have enough uh, Awakened Draconium to do what we need to. So we need a pick, a shovel, sword. And then that makes uh, the Staff of Power, which then, that's basically all three in one, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, you're literally putting all of them into one. So, I mean, it, it would make sense, right? Yeah, dig speed, dig AOE, attack damage, attack AOE, uh, stuff like that. So, attack damage is six. What's this? 
three and a half, so it's actually way stronger too. Attack speed is less, but you can always speed that up, I think, right? Attack damage, no. Okay. So for this, again, we need the... And we can add sharpness to it. Oh yeah. So we need a shovel, pick, sword. Let me just do this and just do... Conic. And so it limits a lot of this stuff. Okay, so for the... All these recipes are the exact same. So we need... What? Sword, pick, shovel. The three. So I need six blocks. Let me just set that aside. Okay. Six blocks. And then we need... Three of those. Holy lord. So that's three nether stars. Let me make sure that's all we need. We need four of those. So let me grab another nether star. Okay, so we need four of these. So that's one, two, three, four, sixteen wyvern cores. Um... How many? 16. And I believe I'm out of the Draconic now. Okay. There, there, there. I need three more. 16 of those. So I can make those. And on top of those, I also need three of those. Three. This stuff's crazy. It's crazy expensive. I need 12, right? And what does that go around? What goes around that? Stronium? I only need three. Yeah, one for each tool. Okay. So... First things first is I have to make the awakened core. So that is six draconium ingots, wyvern cores. So I need that, those, that. So I need four of these. Does it say six of those? Do I have to make more of these? Five of those. Four of those. I need another. Wiver infusion. Really? Let me make sure I'm doing this right here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I need another quiver. Ooh. Another one of those. Holy lordy. Four diamond. It's basic, not chronic. Start that main. We have a lever in here. I know that's not going to take long, but. Aha, there it is. There's the dome. Where are you going? Way over there. Get over here. Oh, 
wrong thing. Getting closer. Not getting closer. Let's move it. Whoa. Whoa. Why is it only half? Okay, so that moves it side to side. That moves it up higher, but that's not no dome. It don't look like one anyway. That should make it wider, right? Why is it that way though? Why does it face sideways? Is it because of the way the lever's on it? Oh, I can rotate it that way. If I want it on top, it's a dome. Aha, there we go. So this is how you can make it. So now if I, obviously it's not gonna be long like this. I mean, I technically I could. If I make it like that, and I place it with all glass underwater, I think that would look amazing. But I'm getting sidetracked. Let's get back in. Do what we were doing here. Let me, when we get in, I'll throw this in our system, and we'll get rocking and rolling with this Draconic Evolution. Make the Staff of Power. Get that up and rolling. Get those out of here. We know how to make them. We have them. We crafted it. I, could, I showed you guys basically my idea of what I want to try doing, so... Should work. Should work. Uh, I guess put that there. I guess. Um, that goes in it. That doesn't. That can go down there. Too. Okay, so back to what we were doing. Draconic. Uh, yeah, basically. Okay, so we need to make those. So one, two, three, four, and then five. Okay. Don't need those. What do I put in here? Nether star. I think. Come on. Her. Let's get it rolling, man. Let's get it rolling. Also, a little bit of a side note. Hopefully, the Draconic Evolution isn't too loud. But um, another thing I was actually thinking of is I was thinking about doing some live stream. Uh, I know it's a little different than obviously recording and uploading. The only reason I was thinking about doing a live stream is I feel like it would be a little bit better for. For Minecraft and, a, and maybe a, a handful of games that would be a little bit better to interact with you guys like real time uh, instead of uploading a video to YouTube the time you guys view it or whatever you know it, it's a it's a few days before I can even make changes to what your what your recommendations are first off second off is I, I feel like I would be able to learn a lot more about Feed the Beast if we were to do a live stream. And specifically, just you guys can let me know, like, hey, this mod's pretty cool. This is how you start it. This is what you need to do. 
And then if I get stuck and be like, oh, I don't know what to do next, you guys would be able to assist with that also. I, I feel like it would be a little bit better with Minecraft. Also with building. Uh, like, for example, like, do you think I should make it out of dark oak logs or, or just oak or, you know, it, I think it would be a little bit better, but I don't know. It's just an idea. And especially if I, if I'm able to start getting home at a decent time from work, um, we play a lot of random, like not random games, but we play a variety of games. I mean, we'll play Call of Duty, the Warzone for a couple of, like for an hour or two, and then we switch over to NHL. Uh, me and Brandon are trying to finish up the division so I can upload that series to YouTube but there's other like the Minecraft Dungeons will be coming out that we're going to be playing um, we want to play Diablo 3 on the PC uh, we do Fortnite every once in a while for some challenges like there, there's just a lot of games that I feel like would be a lot better for streaming than it would be for than it would be for um, videos so it, it's just an idea that I was thinking of, you know, I was just, while I wasn't uploading, I was just trying to think of things that I could do. I also have to make Draconic here, crafting injectors to even do this. Um, yeah. So it was just a, a basic idea. Not a basic, but it was an idea that I was having. Uh, just basically... Of what I want to do moving forward. Just to bounce it off you guys as well. Okay, so if I need nine of those. Nine wyvern coins. I don't even know if I have everything to make this right now. Especially the nether stars. Ajakonic evolution again. Put that inventory up. Cook. I'm making this, honestly. How many do I need? Nine. I need eighteen. And I need I'm making nine thirty six diamonds. I need nine draconic bricks. Ain't no way. I cook fast. Also, another thing I noticed in Minecraft Bedrock, just while it's on my mind so I don't forget again. Um, whenever you open a chest and then you go out of it, like your mouse cursor, like it's all over the place. Like I feel like it snaps back to a spot. Instead of like, see how it's down here and then I go back in, how it's right here in the center of the screen. I don't know, there, the one on there feels weird. Like I said, Minecraft Bedrock, is everything about that is just a little out there. I don't know why. Okay, let's turn that off, turn that off, that off, that off, that, that, that. So nine, nine, nine. Where do I get 39 of them? Like, who knows what comes up with that? Thirty-nine. <laughs> what in the world? I'm crazy. What if I put a chest under that if it works? It'll automatically output to it. About to find out, aren't we? This video is running a little bit over an hour right now as I speak. Um, we are currently nowhere near the staff of power. So I don't know if I want to call it here, but at the same time, okay, it doesn't automatically output. Okay. I don't really want to call it now because we are so close, but I don't want this to run like hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes. I don't think it's going to take that much longer. Once we get the, once we get these to Wyvern and then go to the Draconic. Oh, you, you need a block per, 
after we make these wyvern crafting, where I'm probably gonna have to call it there. Um, main reason is okay. We still got 41 nether stars, so that's not the issue. The issue that we're gonna have is to actually get there. We need a block of draconium. Awaken Draconian Block, I'm sorry. I, I had a brain fart completely. I'm trying to think of other things while I'm thinking of this, while I'm talking. And that's the issue that I have, is I try to think ahead while I'm talking, but then a lot of the times I just freeze, and I'm like, then I'm thinking and not talking, and then it, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, Because while I was talking about what, like, the, the other issue that we're going to have is I got to go to the end. I got to kill the, the end dragon. Obviously, not difficult. I think each time you spawn it in, it gets more difficult, more difficult, more difficult. But I don't think it's anything crazy. Not with our uh, with our armor and our bow and stuff. I don't think it's going to be anything crazy. But but we're going to need nine of these, which means we have to kill the end dragon another nine times. And that's just... That's just to get the Draconic Fusion crafting injector. That's not even to get the armor. Then we have to go back and do it another three times, four times, five times. You know, it's going to take a little bit to get to the Draconic. Um, but that's our, that's what I want to do next because once we have that and we set up our little spawner for our wither skeleton skulls and we start killing the wither and we start getting nether stars, we're basically set to start getting our power storage for Draconic Evolution up and running also. So that that's like my main goal is to get some power storage. And once we have power storage, then just power generation. You know, we, we have the, the solar panels, but those are kind of boring. You know, there's there's not really anything. You just place it and leave it to go forever. But we have the big reactors. I also want to make a turbine because I have yet in Feed the Beast out of the 12 worlds that I've created just in this mod pack alone. Um, I have never done a uh, uh, spin in my mouse because it's like a windmill, but a turbine. Uh, there's a few other mods that I'm going to get into. Like I said, in my backpack, I got Woot, which is something else that we can use for mob spawning, which means we can probably get rid of that thing out there and just spawn Enderman. But then again, I can go to the end, use the sword and get a mob soul and get rid of that entirely because we don't really need anything else from there except for Ender Pearls. And we already have 4,000, so we technically don't even need that. Once we get the spawner up and running for the Wither Skeleton, we'll worry about the Enderman. After the Enderman, there's not really much we need for mobs, basically. Um, actually, I think we can set up Woot to automatically, once we get to the highest tier. I'm pretty sure you can set it up to automatically kill the End Dragon also. And if that's the case, then we have unlimited Dragon Hearts, which means we have unlimited Draconium. Which means we have unlimited anything in Draconic Evolution. Because if we have the Wither... And we have the end dragon automatically being killed. We have dragon hearts. We have nether stars. We'll be set forever. But that's just like a little plan of action. So let me go over here and oh yeah, look at that. When we have the chance, we still have to make armor because we're just upgrading. And oh, I have to, ooh, I just hit my mic. I'm sorry if that just crushed your ears. Um, craft staff of power. Too long. We'll just we'll just leave it as staff of poo. Because once we have that, that's when we're gonna go and start slaughter. Hey, we got all nine. Uh, so to make another nine, we need one, two, three, 36 diamonds. That's no issue. Let me just get all that in my inventory. Not that. Okay, 36, nine. Um, we also need 18 wyvern cores, so let's go ahead and make those real quick. Wyvern cores, 18 of them. Hey, look at that, we're out of those again. Imagine that. That's enough. How many did I say? 18. Now we're out of your... Oh, my lordy. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Oh, yeah, that's enough. Come on. Eighteen, right? Wyvern course, yep. Got those. Now the only thing I need is the nine draconian blocks. And I have four. 
So I only have to kill the dragon five times. So we went over how to get the awakened draconian blocks. So in between episodes, I'm going to go ahead and kill the end dragon five more times. Just so I can get enough for the draconian blocks. And I'm actually going to go ahead and craft just the crafting injectors as well in between episodes. We went over how to do it from the basic to the wyvern. So, I mean, it's the same process to go from wyvern to the draconic. So, and it takes a little bit longer of time. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that in between episodes. So, the next episode, all we have to do is just get right up and going into creating the staff of power. Getting the mob soul. Doing the, uh, the mob spawner for the, the, the wither skeletons. And then move into doing the mob spawner for Enderman. I can go to the end, get another soul, do it that way, make it a lot easier. Do we have any broken spawners in here? Oh, yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, yeah, we could do another one for Blaze to get Blaze power. Oh, yeah. Yep, 100%. That's the, that's the goal. Uh, staff of power, make the armor. Uh, mob souls. Okay, capital M not working. Mob souls. Yeah, we got we got a lot on the plate, a lot on the plate, a lot of I want to do. Uh, just not enough time to do it. Well, I guess technically everybody has time to do it, but uh, so yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode here. So feel free to like, subscribe, and also don't forget to ring the notification bell so you're notified when the next video goes live. Uh, just in case if it doesn't pop up in your subscription box or maybe you're not on YouTube at that time and you get an email or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. That's going to be the end of the episode, so I will catch you guys in the next one.